Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for 2020. This is a pink smoky eye look. So if you guys are new, my name is Emily. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the big thumbs up button if you think this is cute. If you want to learn how to create this, just keep watching this video. The first shade I'm going to be using is called Heart and I'm using the JH35 brush. This is from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection and the palette that I'm using is a 25L Live in Color by Morphe. I didn't grab that much product because I want to build the intensity up. So let's go ahead and blend this all over our crease and leave no harsh lines. This look is going to look so perfect for Valentine's Day and it's very easy you guys. So don't click out of this video if you want to learn how to create a very easy pink smoky eye. The next shade I'm going to be using is called Sexuality and this is a bright neon pink as you guys can see. And I'm using the brush M573 and this is also by Morphe. These shadows are very powdery so make sure you tap off all the excess makeup so that you don't get any fallout all over your face. I'm only applying this shade onto my lid. Do not cover up the light pink because we still want it to be peeking at the top of this color. Once I'm done packing this shade on, I'm going in with the JH35 brush again and I'm not grabbing any product. I'm just using this to blend out the shade Sexuality. It's okay if some of the hot pink starts disappearing because we're going to go back in and pack some more and build up the intensity of that shade. If you're a beginner to doing makeup, try not to apply too much pressure onto the brush so that it's easier to blend the shades out because these shades are really hard to blend since they're so bright and powdery. Now I'm going back in with the shade Sexuality and I'm packing some some more onto my lid. These steps are pretty repetitive you guys but I promise that this is a very simple smoky eye and it's so perfect for Valentine's Day. Now I'm grabbing the JH35 brush again and I'm not applying any product I'm just using it to blend the pink out again. Now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm using the JH34 this is also from the Jaclyn Hill collection by Morphe and I'm gonna be using this just to blend the shades out on the top so that we don't have any harsh lines and this look can look as smoky as possible. Taking one of my favorite makeup towel removers, this is from Neutrogena, I'm going to clean out all of the fallout that I have on my under eye. And now I'm taking one of my favorite concealers, this is by Believe Beauty, and this is very affordable, it's only $4. I have everything down below in the details if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. I'm going to be using the concealer to clean out the outer area of my eye. The reason why I'm doing this is because I prefer to clean it out like this rather than using tape when I'm doing my eyeshadow. When I'm done cleaning out my eyeshadow, I'm just going to start dragging the concealer downwards and start applying this on my under eye. Now I'm taking this big sponge from InStylish and this is also linked down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. And I'm going to use this to pat down the concealer and make it as smooth as possible. And for my foundation, I'm also going to be using the foundation from Believe Beauty. And this is only $5 you guys, so it's very affordable. I'm applying this brow gel and this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm only using this to keep my eyebrows in place. Now I'm going to be doing my under eye and we have to be careful with this area because we can make a mess if we don't apply the eyeshadow correctly. And I'm using the shade Sexuality again and I'm going to be going in with the JH43 brush. And this is very flat so it's easy to get into that inner area where our lashes are at. I'm applying this eyeshadow as tightly as possible into my lash line so that it doesn't go all over the place and it doesn't mess up my concealer or my foundation because like I said these shadows are very powdery. Now I'm going back in with the shade Heart and I'm going in with the JH35 again and I'm going to be grabbing a small amount of product and I'm going to be using this on my under eye just to blend out the shade Sexuality and so it looks smokier just like what we did at the top. Next, I'm taking the shade Liberation and I'm going to be applying this with the JH33 brush. It's a small pencil brush, so this is perfect for when you want to apply a eyeshadow onto your inner corner of your eye. To intensify this shimmery shade, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray this twice so that it looks a lot more intense on that inner corner. Once I'm done applying the eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with my ultimate favorite mascara and I'm only applying a couple of coats. This is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced Mascara. I'm only using a small amount because I want them to blend in with my false lashes when I apply them. Also, don't forget to add a little bit of mascara on your lower lashes because this is going to help this eye look pop and stand out a lot more. 
this is optional but i wanted to make this look more dramatic so i'm using the nyx professional makeup white eyeliner and i'm going to be applying this onto my waterline just to give my eyes that extra pop this makeup look will also look very good with black eyeliner so don't worry if you don't have any white or if you don't want to use white or you're not comfortable with it it's fine black will look good as well next i'm going to be applying a small layer of eyeliner on my top lash line and this is from maybelline it's very affordable it's about eight dollars i believe it's very dark and also it's a very good quality for a drugstore makeup i'm only going to be smearing a small amount on top of my lash line just so that my lashes can sit on top of that eyeliner I wanted to use some dramatic eyelashes, so I'm going in with these from Minked Luxury Lashes. The details are down below in the description. So these are in the style Davina, and I'm gently going to be applying this onto where I applied my gel eyeliner. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. That was the final step for this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for 2020. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next videos.